Hi Agnes 2, Mrs Webster here. I'm on a little adventure to Lawn's Farm and Farm Shop up in Morthen near Wickersley. So a big thank you to Chris, Anthony and George for letting me come up here onto the farm. They know just how frustrating it is for us to be in lockdown and not to be able to visit a real farm. So I thought I would like, you might like for me to show you around a little and hopefully give you a bit of an insight into the things that they do here on the farm. So here goes. So the first place I've come to is the milking parlour. So this is exactly where your milk comes from. You can see behind me the cows have come in from the field, they've been out all day drink, eating grass and that grass turns into milk inside their tummies and then we put a special machine onto their udders and that's what will take the milk from the cows. Milk is made in the udders of dairy cows on the farm. This begins after the cow has had a calf, a baby. These are the cows waiting to go into the milking parlour for their turn. Milking lines are attached to the four teats on the dairy cow's udder and these lines are attached to a machine that gently sucks milk from the cow. So this is the cows all lined up nice and calmly in the milking parlour. And then this is the machine placed onto that udder. They're just getting comfortable. And then the milk goes down the tube into the pot at the bottom. The milk travels through the lines to jars where the milk is measured. It then leads to a refrigerated storage tank that stores the milk and cools it to 4 degrees. So this is where the milk from those jars underneath comes into this huge container. So that's the next step of your milk journey. So this is what it looks like inside the big tank. Turning the milk and keeping it nice and chilled. The milk is then processed through a machine that gently heats it and then cools it to make sure it is germ free. So after the tank, the milk needs to come through into this room here and this is where the processor is. So Chris has just been telling me this fan here is taken off and these metal pipes are connected to the processor. And then the milk is pasteurised, so any germs are taken out of the milk, and then it goes through into here. The milk is then pushed through a machine that helps the cream and milk mix together by pushing it through tiny holes. This makes the milk smooth and creamy. After it's gone through into this tank here, it can be put into bottles or cartons. So here is the end result. And then they can be taken to the, across to the farm shop or even the local Morrisons. The milk is then sent to be stored and kept cool. From here, some of the milk is kept to become other dairy products. This may include butter, cheese, yoghurt, cream, sour cream, ice cream or whey. The milk, after it's been put into the bottle for the cartons, can be passed through this little door here. And we're in a huge fridge. And then it's ready to go. Oh, into your fridge and onto your cereal. After the cows have all gone back out into the field in the morning, 
Oh, it's up and bad at night. All the milk and powder needs cleaning down. So everything is nice and clean, ready for the next session of milking. So here I am outside in one of the barns. And this is where the cows can come to rest, particularly at night time, before going back out into the field. Here is the milk in the farm shop ready for the customers to come in and buy when they open in a couple of minutes time. Try to draw pictures to show the process of how milk finds its way to your cereal. If you don't feel like drawing today, maybe you could use your Lego or some construction, even some boxes from around your house to build your own milk in parlour to show the process of how milk is made. Look at the pictures of these different dairy products made with milk and talk to someone in your family about if you've tried them before and if you like them. Is there anything on the list you haven't tried before that you would like to try in future?